What's up guys, it's McNulty here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. So today we have the release of the August calendar, the proper August calendar, not the horrible Empires and Puzzles one. So we have a good idea of what is going on in August for 2024. Now the big news that's happening in August is that the devs are calming down a little bit, which is absolutely awesome. And it's something that I've been waiting for for what feels like forever now. So I'm just warning you guys in advance, this calendar's busy, but it's really a massive step back from what we've seen before. And I feel like we are gonna take a hit. I feel like people are gonna be like, when are you releasing new heroes because of what we've been getting used to? But trust me, this is a good thing for the future of this game. So anyway, what do we have going on at the moment? We have the Owl Tower, which is running right now, uh, where Senius is featured. Senius is a freaking god at the moment in this game. He's an absolute beast. Lodius and Varus as well featured in that portal. And then we have the release of Sir Casimir, um, our latest hero of the month. And I will be doing a review on him, so please look out for that on the channel. Uh, but we're not here to talk about him alone. He does look like quite an interesting hero, though. So we'll get into more detail on him very soon. Um, and then we have the registration for the War of Three Kingdoms. And pretty big news in terms of the War of Three Kingdoms and heroes. Uh, because if we go on to what's happening next week. Sorry, we've got Tremors of the, the Underwild running at the moment. I kind of want to brush over that a little bit. Because it is running from today um, through the weekend. And also, I feel like they've been a bit lazy on Congolak's costume. They have powered him down a little bit, so he doesn't really get the, the same sort of benefits as a lot of the others with the extra passives. He's just got the extra effects against boosted health, which is good. And he is still a great hero, but um, he could have been a lot better. So anyway, um, the registration for the War of Three Kingdoms. Why is that so big? If we move over to next week, Monday... Uh, the 5th of August, we can see there we have the War of Three Kingdoms and we're going to have a costume for an old favorite, costume Cow Cow, featured alongside the costume for Zugi Lang and ZZ Jing, um, and no featured costume for the Troublemaker costume Dia Chan. She is just dominating and obliterating defenses left, right and center at the moment. So something... I say something has to be done about her. Um, I'm not one to call for nerfs normally, but I might make an exception in costume Dia Chan's case. Don't hate me, but she's just too powerful. Her skill is too powerful now. So maybe it calls for a little bit of toning down there or just waiting until the rest of the crowd can catch up. Anyway. I'm interested to see what they're going to do with costume for Cow Cow. That should be really cool. Uh, we're then going to have Frank Fangs Brimwell. Lovely name. Um, featuring in the Goblins portal alongside Iacanthia or Iacantha. Um, and then, I mean, that's going to be a really, really busy start to next week. But that's not a common theme. Uh, we do also have the Tavern of Legends um, featuring Ramona, who's an excellent hero as well. So if you're going to be doing or looking to do some pulls, I would say that first week of August looks like a really, really good one um, from the 5th and the 6th. Um, then we've got the Contest of Elements where we're going to see a new Super Elemental in Dark, uh, Vanda. Featured alongside Gastille, the King of Titans. Um, so if you're looking for a Titan hero, there is nobody better in the whole entire game, hands down. Uh, the Covenant Summon will be beginning on the 9th, and that will run through the weekend. So next weekend, featuring Ryan Glow, Aaron, Shacklebolt, Shaul, Changi, who's still probably my most wanted hero, and Daroga, who's a G. Um, so the Covenant Summon is going to be a good portal as well going into next weekend. Now, starting off on what will be week three in August, um, but starting from the 12th, we're going to have the June Summon. That'll actually start on the Sunday. Um, this calendar doesn't notate secret heroes, but obviously we'll just keep up with those as and when they come in. Um, so we're going to have costumes for ba bats, blah, blah, Bastet. <laughs> Um, and uh, the Tetasheri and Horus one we've seen be seen already. And then the costume chamber is going to be featuring uh, the the long-awaited uh, costume three for Quintus. That's not really going to do anything for him in his original form. Well, it might, um, but it's just going to make the love doctor form of him more powerful. Uh, that costume two is insane for Quintus. 
and that's going to get a nice boost. Um, the Clash of Knights is going to be after that. We're going to see Alvar as our newest hero featured alongside Damon and Lysenor. Lysenor being the best reviver in the game. Damon's really unique in terms of his skill. Um, and then we're going to see Valhalla forever with costumes that we've already seen featured. Now, I am brushing over these. I'm not getting super excited about them. <clears throat> but that doesn't mean that I'm not excited about this format because there's not too much overload of new stuff in here we have gone through calendars in the past where it's been like shit here's a new hero here's a new hero here's a new hero here's three new heroes here's five here's a whole new group um and this is a kind of step back because everybody just has had the feeling that they've been drained there's been too much pressure and we need some time to be able to catch up with the with with where the game is wanting to push the meta at the moment and hopefully, I mean, this is the start, but it's going to take a couple of months of slow grind to get us there. Um, so uh, that will be ending off week three. Moving into week four, and we have the Astral Elves going to feature Demi Loon, probably one of my favorites in the Astral Elves alongside Starless. Um, and then the Secrets of the Opera will be in that week as well. And we've got no ideas yet as to who is going to be featured in that Secrets of the Opera portal. So that will be interesting. Uh, to find out um, and then for the end of the month uh, we're going to have a costume for Thalassa um, so that's probably one of my favorite heroes actually that I would love as well um, so you give me Thalassa and you give me who was the other one that I mentioned oh can't even find them here now a uh, Changi and I will be a happy happy camper and my whole blue team will be sorted um, and then interesting, it's going to be interesting to see what they do with the Ninja Tower, um, whether we will have new featured heroes there um, or whether we're going to have um, costumes coming in for the older ninjas. I mean, we've got sort of two tiers worth of ninjas. So you really need a point where both both sets of ninjas can come on to the same level of balance. So you might have um, older costumes with higher stat boosts and the newer ninja costumes with lower stat boosts or just leave the, the newer ones behind for a little bit um, and let the older ones catch up first. I don't know what's going to happen, but again, that's going to be interesting to see. And we're not going to be bombarded by tower events over the course of this month. So there's a lot of positives coming out of the August calendar. Um, that being said, please do let me know your thoughts in the comments. Drop us a like and subscribe to the channel. Share it with your mother, and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.